Welcome back to Getting Started with Apache Solar Search Server with Robert Elwell. This is Section 2, Administration and Configuration. In this section, we'll cover how to access and use the Solar Admin Interface, what files control what data types are in the index, what files control how Solar is configured, how to better understand the data in your index through the schema browser, and where to find statistics on both the index and the application itself. So now we're working with the Solar Admin. It's important to understand how the admin site works because it's really kind of the central location of everything happening to the Solar instance that you're presently running. So first, let's take a brief minute to understand exactly what's being linked to here. We have the schema, which links to the basic document setup of any document in the index. We have config, which explains exactly how everything is configured for your particular instance of Solar. Analysis, which allows you to understand how terms are being analyzed within the fields that you have set up. The schema browser, which describes what fields are available and the statistics against them presently. Statistics, which provides more broad information about what's in the index and how the instance of Solar is behaving. Info, which tells you some basic Java details about what's going on under the hood. Distribution, which tells you a little bit more about what's going on software-wise, you know, sort of what version of Solar you're running, things like that. Ping, which allows you to make sure that Solar is running without doing any additional queries. Logging, which gives you options for how to set up what gets output and where to give you diagnostic information. Java properties and thread dump, we don't necessarily need to go into because it's a bit more of an advanced topic. If you're just setting things up, you're not going to run into a need for that too much. The full interface allows you to do a little bit more when you're actually querying your index. And then finally, this assistance section is really useful. It gives you a link to Solar documentation. So as I had pointed out, there was a wiki link on the Solar homepage. You can get to the same homepage through this documentation link. There's an issue tracker that gives you a list of all existing features in JIRA for the Solar project. You can go through that and see if you're having a problem that has already been reported. You can send an email that basically allows you to send an email to an address that you configure, so I wouldn't be too worried about it if you're the only person touching this. And if you're not, then you might want to set up some other communication methodologies because you never know if this is going to work. And then finally, Solar Query Syntax, which gives you a link to the Solar Wiki and describes how query syntax works. We'll talk about that in a future installment. Finally, current time will tell you when the page was accessed, and server start at will tell you when the server was started, which is useful to know in case you're, you have any questions about did the server get shut down and then restart because I'm using run it 